Good day, this is Rob Kettle from Evolve Green, and here we see some brand new batteries from my off-grid house. Yes, yes, they are giant. I mean, look at these things. 16 inches tall, 550 amp hours of energy per battery, 6 volts a piece. This will be run into a 24 volt system, and that should power my house for 3 days straight without any additional power. And here's Bill. He's going to be helping us today. Bill Grob. So what do you think, Bill? Uh, looks good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Well, let's get to it. So what we have here is eight batteries, six volts a piece. We need a 24 volt setup. So it'll be two sets of battery banks. One, two, three, four for one 24 volt system and one, two, three, four for the next 24 volt system. I'll show you our old battery bank and show you exactly what we've been living with for the last five years. Things keep on falling down around here. I don't know why. Anyways, here we go. We have six 12 volt batteries hooked up in series to act as or a series and parallel to act as a 24 volt battery system. Uh, as you can see, this, uh, these batteries are a lot smaller than the original batteries. Uh, we use Trojan 27. TMX batteries and they lasted fairly decent time but these are not exactly solar batteries these are uh, deep cycle batteries but they're not exactly what you want I mean this was our start setup and they lasted us for five years we used and abused them and five years later they have given up the ghost I mean I charged the batteries last night and this morning we are at 25 Press exit. 20.05 20 and last night they were at 26. So over a 12 uh, hour period they dropped 4 volts or 5 volts. So as you can see these batteries are done. And we will be using them again for something else. Um, they just won't be high power usage batteries anymore. Now the batteries here what made them go bad, or one of the things that made them go bad was that we did not water them properly. Well, we were watering, watering them properly, but one cell was dry the last time I watered my batteries um, in that battery right there. So, I've concluded that uh, because it was a drier battery that it's probably not going to work as well as the rest of the batteries and we've been showing that because of our lack of power in the place. Well since I talked to you last five minutes ago we have gained a uh, volt and a half actually power and we are producing 130 kilowatts or yeah 130 watts of power through our solar panels and it is a miserable day outside. So if you ever have that question of do your panels work when there's cloud of course they do just not well now because we are going to be taking apart my batteries and we are in an enclosed room we're gonna need a light so we are going to use this 50 watts LED from Evolve Green this thing throws off a serious amount of light and it's 12 volt spark free tractor or for any other kind of off-grid lighting needs that you need. Let's get back to it. We've got our, all right, Bill, we've got our batteries all taken apart here and we found corrosion on one of the battery bank, on one of the battery, one of the batteries there. 
So what are you doing right now? I will be soaking it in a, a baking soda bath to neutralize it and to clean it up. Excellent, excellent. And we can use a baking soda solution to clean out the bottom of our battery box also. To make sure that there's nothing down there uh, eating away at everything. Yeah, exactly. So, just a few scoops of baking soda, a little bit of water, mix it together, and we'll dip the unit in. Well, look at that right there. It's a good idea to have a basic solution sitting around while you're playing with your batteries in case there are any types of spills or anything like that. But baking soda on hand is very important. Cleaning her up, but she was dirty. Yeah. We'll use a steel brush or a knife to scrape off anything else that's on there. And then give it another bath. Yeah. Getting there. Yep. All right. Here's our battery setup. We have four six volt batteries per side, which gives us 24 volts. We go from positive to negative. Yeah, positive or positive to negative, positive to negative, and so forth. Positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. That's in series. That gives us 24 volts. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 24. Now, because we have 8 batteries here and a 24 volt setup, we can actually go 48 with the whole setup here, but we want at 24. So, we're going to put these 24 volt series or 24 volt batteries in parallel. That means hooking up the negative to the negative right here across and then the positive to the positive right here and that makes it 24 volts with two battery banks now as you can see here we have just finished wiring half the battery bank here we've just half finished up wiring the battery bank we've got a positive to negative positive to negative then positive to negative here, giving us a 24 volt system there. Positive, positive to negative, positive to negative, and then positive to negative to give us a 24 volt system here. Now, to make this a 24 volt system with two different battery banks, we're going to put this positive over here to this positive over here, and that negative over there to that negative over there. And that'll give us two. 24 volt battery banks all right so here we finally go we finally got everything hooked up properly um we had to do it two times because our lines here are quite a bit shorter and our our, our initial design had them reaching out to there and they only reached to there so yeah now here we go now we have, we're testing the terminals from here to here, and we're reading 24.4, 24.5, 24.3, and everything is on this way. We have everything reading on here at 25.0, and we have this all cold and hot weather compensated. Yeah, I'm excited. Power, real power. Yeah. Well, that's all for now, th folks. Uh, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'll show you new and other amazing things that you can see at evolvegreen.ca. Talk to you. Bye bye.